Welcome back. So, after doing a smash burger, I want to try something different. Something that you wouldn't regularly get at a fast food restaurant. According to SeriousEats.com, a pub-style burger have large patties, no smaller than 8 ounces or 227 grams, is ovoid in shape, much like a hockey puck, and most often seen in pubs, hence the name pub-style burgers. For caramelized onions, chop two medium-sized onions and saute it in a medium-low heat for about 30 minutes. Add a sprinkle of salt and wait for the natural sugars to come out until the onions become soft and jammy. Slice a red, plump, juicy tomato and sprinkle with a dash of salt. Cut a small head of lettuce in ribbons and set it aside. Now for the patties. I chose 80% lean and 20% fat on my ground beef. It's the standard ratio for juicy burger patties. And nobody wants to eat a dry burger patty, right? Divide half a kilo of ground beef into three portions, or around the size of a tennis ball. Then carefully flatten the top part with a bit of indentation in the middle to avoid shrinking while cooking. Then hit it with a pinch of salt and freshly ground pepper. Now check your caramelized onions to see if they are done. It should be golden amber brown in color, soft, and smells sweet. This is the closest thing I have to a cast iron pan, but if you don't have this, a regular frying pan will do. When your pan is smoking hot, put the patties season side down and sprinkle a dash of salt and pepper. If you noticed, I didn't put any oil in my pan. That's because the fat from the patties will render out and is enough to not let the patties stick to the pan. And if you wait patiently and the heat is just right, you'll be rewarded with a nice sear to your patties. This is called the Maillard reaction. Basically, it's the sear of the proteins that transforms the sugars in your food, producing new flavors, aromas, and colors. After flipping the patties, top it with one slice each of Swiss and cheddar cheese. Cover it for a couple of minutes and wait until the cheese melts. Set it aside for a bit and start prepping your buns. Now the buns should always be toasted. Even the mediocre food stalls and fast food chains do this. All you have to do is put some butter on the top and bottom half of your buns and toast it until golden brown. It's that simple. After that, we'll start the assembly. First is our bottom buns. Top it with our burger sauce. The link for that is in the description or on the top right corner of your screen right about now. A nice little lettuce nest for that bite of freshness. Our plump tomato slices. Our juicy burger patties. Our sweet and delicious caramelized onions. Crowned with our toasted top bun. Honestly, I never made any burger fancier than this pub style burger. You have to try this. The caramelized onion is fantastic, the Swiss and cheddar cheese are melted heaven, and the burger sauce complements the whole dish entirely. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next week.